Okay, let's practice the value of underlying digits with numbers up to 1,000. Okay, so we want to know the value of the underlying digit, and my number is 25. So if I have 25, I need to know what place that is in. It's not in the ones place, it's in the tens place. Okay, so we would say that that has a value of 20. Okay, next one. What's the value of this underlying digit? You have 22. Okay, so we're not worried about the tens place. Okay, we're carrying it, we're only concerned about the ones place. So how many ones is that? Two, that's it. All right, next one. What's the value of this underlying digit? It's a single digit, two. So the value of the two, which is in the ones place, has to be two. No tricks there. Okay, now we have 47. 47. Okay. Tens is the four. Ones is the seven. And we care about the seven. So it's in the sevens place. It's like we're ignoring the tens. Seven is in the ones place. We're ignoring the tens. So the value of the underlying digit is seven because it's in the ones place. Okay, now we have 43. 43. We have tens and ones. Okay, now we don't care about the tens because the three is underlined. So we can ignore it. So we're only looking at the ones place, and that is a three. So we say the value is three. All right, what's the value of this underlying digit? We have 18, okay? And I can split it. I have my tens, and I have my ones. The eight is underlined. So does the tens place matter here? No, it does not. We're ignoring that, okay? So we're only looking at the ones place. And what digit is there? Eight. So the value of the eight and 18 is eight. Next one, 18 again. And I'll mark it in case you need it. Tens, ones. The eight is underlined. So do we care about the tens? No, we do not. So what digit is in the ones place? Eight. So the value is eight. All right, now we have 27. Let's look at it as tens and ones. The seven is underlined, so we don't need to worry about the tens. We do not need to worry about that guy. So we just look in the ones place. What digit is there? It's a seven, so the value is seven. All right, now we have 34. And this time, the three is underlined. Okay, so we care about the three. So I'm gonna write the three here. But here's the thing, I can't just ignore the four. Okay, because if I ignore the four, then my answer would be three. And that three is not in the ones place. So what do I need to put in that ones place to keep the three in the tens place? zero. So the value of the three and 34 is 30. Let's try one more. 20. What is the value of the zero in 20? Okay, I have the T for tens, zero for ones. The zero is underlined, so do we need to worry about the tens? No, we don't. So how many zeros, or how many, what is the value of my ones place? What digit is there? It's a zero, so it has a zero value. Great job with these problems.